anti epileptic drugs these are the drugs which are used to treat epilepsy first of all what is epilepsy well epilepsy is a cns disorder in which there is increased electrical activity in the brain which causes seizures for those who don't know about seizures you would have probably seen in films or tv shows where a person suddenly falls and his whole body jerks actually this is a type of seizure known as generalized tonic clonic seizure and also the most commonest seizure the movements produced during these are known as convulsions okay back to anti epileptic drugs there are many groups of drugs used to treat epilepsy identoin is one among them we got two drugs under this group they are phenytoin and phosphenytoin in today's lecture we are going to learn in detail about the phenytoin drug it is also called as diphenylidentoin phenytoin is a non sedative oral anti epileptic drug whereas phosphenytoin is a pro drug of phenytoin which is given intravenously or intramuscularly mechanism of action this is a synapse with pre and post synaptic neuron at rest intracellularly there will be negative potential and extracellularly positive potential there are two important channels present in the pre synaptic neuron they are the voltage gated sodium channel and calcium channel when pre synaptic neuron receives an excitatory impulse these channels open and cause influx of sodium and calcium ions which results in reversal of polarity this facilitates the release of glutamate from pre synaptic neuron glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter hence it will excite the post synaptic neuron actually in epilepsy there is increased release of glutamate so there will be increased excitation but phenytoin will prolong the inactivated state of voltage gated sodium channel and also decrease the influx of calcium ion this depresses the release of glutamate and facilitates the release of gaba which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter which will inhibit the post synaptic neuron so the mechanism of action is by prolonging the inactivated state of voltage gated sodium channel and also by reducing calcium influx pharmacokinetics the kinetics of the metabolism is capacity limited that is for a particular quantity of drug if the enzyme is adequate it will follow first order kinetics but when we increase the dosage of the drug it will follow zero order kinetics for phenytoin the kinetics changes from first order to zero order and the therapeutic range this is also known as saturation kinetics so the pharmacokinetics of phenytoin is capacity limited that is the kinetics changes from first order to zero order now adverse effects of phenytoin when given in therapeutic concentration and also when given in toxic doses well when you take phenytoin in therapeutic concentration you will get a home girlfriend what just kidding actually it is a mnemonic for adverse effects at therapeutic concentration where h stands for isotism and hypersensitivity reaction o stands for osteomalacia m stands for megaloplastic anemia g stands for gum hypertrophy f stands for fetal identoin syndrome isotism is a condition in which women develops excess hair growth hypersensitivity reactions or immune reactions which instead of protecting us damage our own body tissue like rashes and lymphadenopathy osteomalacia means soft bones in which phenytoin desensitizes the target tissue to vitamin d and also interferes with calcium metabolism megaloblastic anemia this is because phenytoin decreases the folate absorption gum hypertrophy it is the commonest adverse effect of all fetal identoin syndrome is caused when you give phenytoin during pregnancy here hypoplastic phalanges cleft palate hair lip microcephaly may be seen in fetus Overdose of phenytoin may result in cerebellar and vestibular manifestations like ataxia, vertigo, nystagmus. Intravenous injection of phenytoin sodium may cause local vascular injury and also results in fall in BP and cardiac arrhythmias. Finally, uses of phenytoin. The mnemonic for this is GPS Tamil Nadu. Phenytoin is mainly used to treat generalized tonic clonic seizures (GTCS). partial seizures status epilepticus and trigeminal neuralgia remember we use phenytoin for status epilepticus only when phosphenytoin is not available and also for trigeminal neuralgia phenytoin is second choice of drug to carbamazepine thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe the channel and let me know in comment section